what's going on people welcome back to the spark mining youtube channel today we're going to be going over the ultimate quad miner okay what does that mean well stay tuned and find out all right so before we get into that Let's go ahead and go over you know some stats for today we got my 560 rig pulling 1.17 mega hash just on electronium we got the 570 560 rig with 1580 tucked in pulling 3.43 mega hash on electronium we got the rx 580 rig pulling between 6.96 and 7.01 mega hash on electronium i would show you guys my overclock settings but you guys see it all the time the only thing that I've changed on the 580 rig is I put the memory down to 2000 across the board except for the micron memory is at 2200 running solid up for 20 hours and 35 minutes on that 580 rig I also ordered some new risers they're gonna be in I don't know eventually but when they come in I'll be like hey look at these cool risers guys we're gonna swap them out put them in do the whole stuff and things and then we'll be good to go so quad miner you ask what do you mean quad miner well you know boss he did good with the tri miner that he came up with he was running it on that little test bench I thought it was a great video and I was looking in you know to my own ideas in a computer build that I want to do and which is a computer build that I'm going to do so let me tell you how much this quad miner cost okay it's gonna cost you sixteen hundred sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents all right what sixteen hundred sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents all right well what can it do well it's gonna ROI within ten months or less that's what it's gonna do that's at the current market right now with how crypto is so even if crypto doesn't go up you're gonna ROI in less than 10 months ROI in less than 10 months so you mean profits are back profits never went anywhere if you didn't sell it's just the markets you know continuing to correct itself and people are believing in it again you know tax seasons over people aren't worried about taxes right now money's flowing back into the crypto space technology is advancing etc etc so how do I want to have this quad miner set up well let me show you the bread and butter of this quad miner setup because not only is it going to be a quad miner setup but you're going to be able to game on it extremely well so this is the case this is going to be the backbone of it it's going to be the thermal take core p5 atx open frame panoramic viewing case what do you mean it's going to be this thermal take case <clears throat> well a little hint until later on in the video you're going to be running three rx 580s in this build what three rx 580s three rx 580s so how are we going to get it all to fit in here and be on one computer well do you see how this open panoramic view on this case is so whenever you see this nice little mount right here what does that mean that means we're going to be mounting our gpus vertically that's right vertically well how are we going to do that well we're going to go through the process of doing that this is going to be an open air case it's going to have extremely well cable management it's going to be able to dissipate heat extremely well you know you'll just have to worry about your cat jumping into it but <clears throat> besides that it's going to be a computer case you can be proud of like you're going to build this case and you can be happy and excited to show it off and be like hey you guys want to check out my quad miner people are like what's a quad miner i thought you were a computer game you're like dude i do play computer games and i run on that tri that you know that tri crossfire you know what i'm saying like i get it's over nine thousand my frame rates so check it out you're going to be able to mount your gpus vertically so i'm going to be ordering this case and it's going to be coming in and i'm actually going to do the build on this video this isn't just going to be a video of hey you can make this move. no i'm gonna buy this case and it's gonna be coming in and then i'm gonna be building the miner that i'm showing you right now <clears throat> so you can see this case is super sleek it's just got the one front panel window on it so it's got plenty of airflow you can like customize how you want to store things you can put water coolers in it the power supply is going to mount right up here up under it so your motherboard is going to go right here in this area and then it's going to allow you to one you can take this tray stand off and just a second brandon what's up brandon what, what is up uh, i'm recording and i haven't stopped it so do you want to say hello hello spartan miner members <laughs> 
Okay. So I'm going to do this recording, okay? And then I'll call you back. All right. All right, peace. <clears throat> okay, so you know Brandon, you know, he's always, we always chatting it up. All right, so back into it. So you can remove this. Once you remove it, you can actually run the three cards on the motherboard. How are you going to run the three cards on the motherboard? Dude, I'm going to show you. All right. So we know it's got ca excellent cable management. It's going to have excellent airflow. It's going to look sleek. It's going to look nice. I mean, it's, I'm telling you, this quad miner is going to be the thing. So this is a case that's going to cost us $119. we are going to get our $20 rebate, which I've got rebates on like everything that I own, and I just don't do anything with them. I, I don't know. I got four of those Quake Extreme Packs or whatever whenever the RX 580s were on sale back when they were like $3 or like $300. So I got those Quake Champion Pack things. What, I don't even know. What, what am I doing with them? I don't know. Are they still good? Does anybody want them? All right, so moving on. What else do we got here in the shopping cart? Well, let's go take a look. So, what is going to be the motherboard that we use? Well, it's going to be the MSI X370 Gaming Plus AM4 AMD board. All right, multi GPU support, VR boost. It's going to cost us $119 after the rebate. Take a look at this. It's got three full size lanes evenly spaced out, so you'll be able to run that tri crossfire if you want to. It's got six. PCIe slots as you can see and then it's got that nice M.2 slot if you want to add number seven It's got a nice look to it. The heat sinks look really nice. You can scroll down You can see it's ready for Windows 10. It's ready for your AMD Ryzen's another giveaway part, right? The Ryzen that's what's going to be powering this beast DDR4 support. It's got your audio boost. It's got your lighting boost. You're going to be able to have different bio settings with this board it's gonna be the whole shebang it's gaming certified gaming certified this is a mining channel you're right it is a mining channel but this is a quad miner that's gonna be able to tear any game apart with a less than 10 month ROI League of Legends World of Warcraft Heroes of the Storm Overwatch CSGO Dota 2 Battlefield 1 take a closer look look at these heat scenes look at this north bridge look at your south bridge look at your your dim lanes I mean MSI is killing the game on the aesthetics look. I mean, it's nice and sleek and simple, but it's got those nice vibrant touches of that red and black throughout. Mm, it's like an almost older rendition of the spawn with the red colors in it. Okay, so that's going to be our motherboard, right? We can put three GPUs on it if we want to run them directly on the motherboard, but we've got a different plan for that. We've got the different plan for that. All okay, right, go back to the shopping cart. See what else we got. How are we going to power this beast? How are we going to power this quad miner? EVGA Supernova 750G3 fully modular power supply. $129. You can't beat that price. It's going to come with more than enough cables that we're going to need. <clears throat> we got that 80 plus gold. I mean, it is going to knock it out of the park. We're not going to be anywhere near that 750 watt mark with this build. So we're going to be good. And once you expand, if you want to add other cards to it and change it into just a full dedicated mining rig, you'll be able to add on one or two more cards. So, that's our power supply. EVGA Supernova, you can't go wrong with those. EVGA has been pumping out awesome power supplies. They, EVGA used to be the king of graphics cards back in the day. I mean, that's what my 660 Ti I have is. So, what kind of RAM do we got? You know we gotta put some RGB in this beast. And it's gonna be that nice black color. We got some Jill Super Luce RGB Sync 8 gigs of RAM. 2400 speed. It's going to cost us at $92.99. You got your timings, your case latency, your voltage. I'm telling you, this is what I have in my computer build right now. Correction. I have the Geo Super Luce 3000 uh, megahertz RAM in my computer build. That's the white sticks. This is the one I have, which is a 3000 RAM. But it also costs it cost me twice as much. However, for a super clean aesthetic looks, for decent speed, for a good size of memory sticks, $92.99, you can't beat it. And it's going to give you that nice pleasing look whenever people come over and be like, what is that on your desk? And you'll be like, dude, that's my NASA computer. What are you talking about? What is that? Moving on. Moving on. So what is going to be the brain of it? Well, you got your AMD Ryzen 3 1200 four core. What? A quad core? What do you mean a quad core? Listen, this quad core 
is going to be shredding stuff. Even updating from the old 8350 or the 8320 eight core processor, I mean, just the new architecture, the new thermal capacity of it, going from 120 watts down to 65 watts, you're already gonna be cutting down on your wattage. It's got the nice sleek cooler that it comes with. It's super quiet. I'm, I'm telling you, you can overclock this thing. It comes with the un, unlocked processor, so you can go through the BIOS settings and overclock it and tweak it to however you want to. But I can tell you right now, stock, it's going to be making almost 40 cents plus a day at current market rate. Yeah, on your CPU, 40 cents a day. Okay, th that, doesn't, that doesn't sound like a lot, right? Trust me, it's going to get there. It's going to get better. All right, stay with me, stay with me. So we got our processor. What graphics cards are we going to use? Well, you know me, I'm an AMD guy. I like those MSI cards. Right now you can get three. Yes, you can order three at a time. MSI Radeon RX 580 Armor 8 gig overclocked edition video cards. Okay, let me tell you about this card right here. Once you go through your BIOS editing and you overclock properly, you can expect at least 30, if not 32 mega hash a seconds on Ethereum. What? On Ethereum? Yes, this card is an Ethereum killer. And you're at 8 gigs on your memory. So even if the difficulty does go up, <clears throat> you're going to be good to go for at least another couple of years mining on this card. Let me tell you the best part about it. This card is also a kryptonite king. If you want to mine Electronium, if you want to mine Monero, if you want to do anything on the kryptonite algorithm, Hell, if you want to mine Equihash, this card is still going to mine Equihash efficiently. So, what kind of hash rates can you expect to get out of this MSI RX 580? Well, you're going to be looking at around 940. If you get Samsung memory, you can be looking at it maybe probably getting one kilohash of hashing power on the Kryptonite algorithm. All right, so this is going to be the card that we're going to do. We're putting three of these beasts in there. Yes, try Crossfire. I'm telling you, this is it's a mad. It's a, it's a mad beast out there. Okay, so what's your plan? How are we going to run these in this computer case? There's two options. One, we can get this Thermaltake TT Gaming PCIe 16 3.0 Black Extender Riser Cable. Well, what is, what is that going to do? This is going to give us the option to mount it vertically. So we can run it from the motherboard, running on the stands coming off the side of the case, and then mount it like that. Or you could put riser cards on there on the bottom and then run the cables up through your PCIe extender cables, right? Or you can run it directly on the case itself. So this is going to be the computer build, $1,669.69. It's got our three graphics cards, our processor, our RAM, power supply, everything that we need. All right, we know how much it's going to cost. Well, how are we going to ROI within 10 months? Check it out. At current market rate, a 3400 hash rate on Kryptonite or the Monero algorithm is going to net you $4.96 a day. Those, the estimates of what you get in Monero is low on what to mine. We did the video. I've got the videos. I'll link the video in the description talking about how what to mine is wrong and that you actually will probably be earning more than this .02628 per day. Okay, so let's say we're making $5 a day. Well, $5 a day, let's go to our calculator. We make $5 a day, so five times 30. We're looking at $150 a month times 12 months. We're at $1,800. Well, the build only cost us $1,668. So you're looking at an ROI of less than a year at current market rate with how GPU prices are right now, with how cryptocurrency prices are right now with how the markets drop so low all right so you know how it is i like to look th towards the future so this is the monero price right 188.82 well let's take 0 0.026280 which is what what's my saying we're going to get and monero peaked at 496 dollars in january so let's multiply that by 496 dollars so that means our rig is going to be making us now $13 a day on this quad miner. That is our main gaming PC that we use to shred people in Fortnite. So we're going to be making $13 a day now, right? So let's go ahead and multiply that by 30, which is how many days we've got in a month. Well, now we're at $391 a month. 
Go ahead and multiply that by 12. $4,692.55. So if you're in the crypto space, you already believe that the market's going to go back up. You already know that the prices are going to exceed what they've already exceeded before. So $4,692 is a projected estimate of what you can make if the market returns back to normal on a $1,600 gaming computer that you built. That's going to shred games and shred cryptocurrency. I'm telling you guys, I'm excited to get this case in because I think this idea is going to be awesome. I think this quad miner setup is going to be fantastic. This case looks nice. I, I'm just, I'm excited to get it in. I want to build on it. I want to do the design that I'm talking about. You know, if you, if you guys want to, I'll put a link in the description for everything that I have right here. You guys can go to it. You can get it yourself. You can build the same setup. I have the cards. I have the power supply. I have everything except for the case, right? All I need is the case to build it. So I'm going to be buying the case, putting everything in the case, and then showing you exactly how much it can make once I get the case in. And the price is going to be different on what on what to mine or what's on coin market cap, right? The prices are never going to stay the same. But upgrading your gaming PD, PC to something that's just going to absolutely like start shredding mining, just getting into it right now. I'm telling you guys, you can't beat it. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like videos like this, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like it. You know, if you don't, well, you don't like it. But I'm a computer guy. I like building stuff. I like getting into innovative ideas. The quad miner, you know, we're not mining on our hard drives and crap. But to be able to mine on three GPUs and the CPU and to make that kind of return an ROI within 10 months, it's just, it's crazy. So... With that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.